five school threats in five days. You know, joking about shooting up a school isn't fun. Tonight, students and parents across Central Florida are upset. I guess they are praised, but I, I think that they need to realize the severity of what can happen to them. New for 530, we are asking how often people who make threats are actually prosecuted in court. The latest threat prompted a three-hour lockdown in West Orange High School. That is the fifth school in Central Florida to face some kind of threat just this week. All of them turned out to be unfounded, and at least two students were arrested. New right now for 5, Channel 9's Michael Lapardi asked prosecutors how many of these cases actually go to court. And, Michael, you learn the suspects can face a variety of charges. Well, the charges actually depend on how the threat was composed and who received the message. Parents and students I spoke with told me they are fed up by these incidents, and law enforcement hopes some recent arrests puts a stop to them. Today, the latest threat involved a note about a weapon at West Orange High School and prompted this response from law enforcement. No kid should have to worry about going to school and being scared that they're not coming home. Students told me they've had enough of the threats and so have parents. This has caused hysteria and it's caused a lot of problems. Today we reached out to state attorney's offices across Central Florida. A prosecutor for Lake County told me he typically files between 10 to 15 cases a year involving school threats. Many are misdemeanor charges for disrupting a school activity. But in the age of social media, tracking down the suspect can be difficult. And many of the perpetrators are often juveniles. WFTV legal analyst Bill Schaefer is a former prosecutor. Oftentimes if you prosecute a juvenile as a juvenile, the sanctions are so limited, it really doesn't act as a deterrence for that kind of behavior in the future by other juveniles. Just this week, teenagers in Lake and Orange counties were arrested for school threats. Schaefer says deciding whether to charge them as adults depends on their age, past record, and severity of the situation. I think that they need to realize the severity of what can happen to them. Even if they don't end up in court, students can face expulsion. But so far, that hasn't stopped the threats. We asked, but we're unable to obtain numbers for Brevard and Orange counties. Now, Schaefer tells me that these cases are often a balancing act for prosecutors, and that's because they want to deter the behavior from happening again, but they realize many of the suspects here are young, and a criminal record can follow them for life. Reporting live in Orange County, Michael Lopardi, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.